They won't believe it, Pastor, because it's Michael. I'm full of funky fever. A fire burns inside me. Boogie got me in a super trance. Blame it on the boogie. Quincy Jones said that when he finished this song, he couldn't stop dancing. He ran out in the street, and he was dancing uncontrollably. Oh, I'm not done. I haven't even started. There were three ways Michael Jackson would get his songs. you got to hear this part. Because I believe this is what led to Michael Jackson's death. I hope they come talk to me about it because I'll give them some information from the Holy Ghost. I don't need a forensic scientist. Look at somebody and say, all you got to do is ask God. God laid this out to me as plain as day. The three ways Michael Jackson got his songs. The first way Michael Jackson said... He told Martin Brashear on an interview that he would climb a tree called the Given Tree, Tree of Knowledge. Tree of Knowledge. He climbed this tree and he would get his songs. Second way, Alistair Crowley said in his book, 777, that he had a room of mirrors, and if you look into a mirror, you can look into yourself, and you can channel the spirits of those that were before you. He's really saying that those that may have molested you or those that may have taken from you, you can bring them back and ask them to be your guide and tell you why they did what they did to you. So Michael Jackson created a mirror, a room of mirrors that he could go in and channel spirits. And Michael Jackson chose a specific spirit. He says this. He says, I have my own secret room with a moving wall and mirrors. Okay. Same room that Alistair Crowley had. He says, this is where I talk to Liberace. I hear his voice in there. I feel his presence so very close to me. He's like my guardian angel. He even gave me permission to record his title, I'll Be Seeing You. That's in the Psychic News in 1987. Liberace? Homosexual. Flamboyant homosexual. You challenge, channel the spirit of the most flamboyant homosexual of our time? And the third way is the way I believe Michael Jackson died. He said that his best songs came in dreams. Michael Jackson would channel Morpheus, the god of dreams, who studied under Serapis Bay. Serapis Bay, Serapis Bay is the image that Catholics use as the image of Christ, but it's not. He has the Ra, the sun god behind his head. He looks just like Christ, but it's not just like Semiramis and Nimrod, that whole thing I told you about earlier. But he was an Egyptian carnated god, so he would channel those spirits. He also channeled the spirits of Hypnos and Thanatos. Hypnos is the god of sleep. Thanatos is the god of death. And they're brothers along with Morpheus. Now what becomes very dangerous about what Michael was doing, if you read, Michael Jackson would sleep sometimes three and four days at a time because he was trying to get hit songs. He even said one time that he couldn't go to sleep. He said a spirit told him that if he did not get to sleep to get this song, the spirit is going to give it to Prince. This is where the rivalry between him and Prince birthed in the 80s, if y'all remember that. But Michael needed to sleep. So they began to sedate him heavily so he could sleep the amount of time he needed to sleep to get hits. But a 50-year-old body trying to do a world tour, hungry for the next hit song, the right dosage. I know some people are saying, well, you haven't really convinced me. I'm about to. Michael Jackson had two albums that told everything that he was doing. The first album he had that I'm going to show you is his history album. He built a statue of himself like Nebuchadnezzar because that Nephilim spirit in him wanted to be worshipped. 
But if you zoom into his arm, there is a number on his arm. And that number is 777. Alistair Crowley's book, 777. Quabalistic writings, channel Nephilim spirits for fame. Get your songs from the devil. And we as a church cried and wept. Me and my wife was in Chicago when Michael Jackson died and turned on the TV. And sweet Holy Spirit Church in Chicago came on TV and said, we're going to have a memorial service for Michael Jackson. The whole church wore one glove. The choir wore one glove. And they began to have altar call doing man in the mirror. In the church. <laughs> worshiping Michael Jackson in God's house. A channeler of Nephilim. What are our young people supposed to think? When they're wrestling in the bed with stuff in the middle of the night. Night crawlers creeping in their room and sending signals and messages in them. And we as a church, 